Snipers, you have to see what's happening in the cryptocurrency market today is Bitcoin is flirting in between the major $58,300 resistance level and the previous weekly open at 56,500, which also shows confluence with the 50 period moving average on the daily chart. We're having a cup of coffee and a macchiato, an extremely important range right now, showing sideways price action while altcoins like Ethereum breaking out to new all time highs. You can see over 4,100 US dollars for those tuned into the Snipers channel. I've been talking about this Ethereum to Bitcoin chart leading the Ethereum to US dollar price into price discovery. You can see we're still heading towards our target of 85,000 Satoshis with this 30% upside. And I want to talk about what I'm expecting as we head into turnaround Tuesday, of course, for Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then we'll also look at traditional markets and the DXY and how that could potentially affect Bitcoin and Ethereum. Because notice here with Bitcoin, we do have some potential market structure to also watch here with this triangle formation showing a lot of confidence influence here with the previous weekly open support level. And so notice right now with Bitcoin's price action, if we were to look at this micro time frame, we have this ascending support level of market structure that's showing confluence with the previous weekly open and the 50 period and 100 period moving average. This is an extremely important area because if this door opens and we start to see a decisive break of 56,500, the previous weekly open, we could potentially open the door to 49,700, which would certainly affect altcoins as well. So we have a lot to look at today. You guys are watching the snipers channel. If you appreciate this content, remember to to smash the like button since we're already looking at Bitcoin. I want to talk about this extremely important range that we're in between right now with this previous weekly open at fifty six thousand five hundred and the fifty eight thousand three hundred dollar resistance level, which was the Elon Musk pump high. And this is an extremely vibrational area for the Bitcoin chart. So we're not surprised to see sideways price action because we know the path of least resistance when there's low volume is always going to be sideways to a little bit higher. It's exactly what Bitcoin is doing right now. But we are are coming towards a very critical point heading into the apex of this triangle. And so this is what we need to watch at this point, because we're in between this extremely important range, which I'll remove the three moving averages so you can have a clear picture of what I'm talking about, because remember, market structure and price action is the most important aspect of trading. Notice here right now, if we break fifty six thousand five hundred, the previous weekly open, that's where we have confluence with this ascending support level and we have those moving averages on the four hour chart. In my opinion, fifty six thousand needs to hold if we want to assume further upside for Bitcoin, because if fifty six thousand shows a decisive break, then forty nine thousand seven hundred comes into the equation. But when we look at the upside potential, if we want to just be the umpire and take a neutral stance at this market structure, then what I'd like to see on the bullish end is for us to come back above the monthly open at fifty seven thousand seven hundred, which is right below fifty eight thousand three hundred. And there's also the weekly open showing confluence with the fifty eight thousand three hundred dollar market structural resistance level. And that's the Elon Musk pump high. And so fifty eight thousand three hundred once again becomes the key level. And then if we start to see four hour and hourly candles close above this level, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a confirmation of a breakout because of the fact that this is such a vibrational area and that typically happens when there's a very obvious resistance area. Right. So the real confirmation of a breakout at this point is going to come if we breach this market structural resistance level sitting right around the fifty nine thousand five hundred to sixty thousand dollar level, depending on when this happens. And if we breach that level, then I think sixty one thousand eight hundred and forty four comes into the equation and a decisive break of this will put us potentially back into price discovery, because then the next major resistance is the previous all time high at sixty four thousand eight hundred and fifty five. So the point is we are in an extremely important range between the previous weekly open at fifty six thousand five hundred and fifty eight thousand three hundred. And we're also heading towards the apex of this market structural triangle. We need to see Bitcoin choose a direction and it needs to get off of the bench because it's currently on the sidelines watching the players on the field. And when we look at what's happening to altcoins, you guys know I've been talking about Ethereum being the better asset over the last month. And that's exactly what's proven true. We're still seeing Ethereum in price discovery reaching a high today of forty two hundred US dollars. And when we look at the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, which is what I like to 
base my trades on the Ethereum to US dollar price off of. We're seeing bullish price action at this point. And so for those that want to still assume a long position in Ethereum, I love trading the Ethereum to US dollar price, but I always watch the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart because that's way more important for a lot of reasons that I could get into in another video. But a retest of this weekly open at 65 or 67,500 Satoshis, regardless of what the Ethereum to US dollar price is, could be a potential long entry for the Ethereum to US dollar pairing and then Another dollar cost averaging entry could be at that 65,000 Satoshi level, which is also an extremely major level, because when we look at this weekly chart, notice how it was the exact candle low twice. And you can see we tested it once here, a third time here. We tested it a fourth time at the body of this candle. So we know 65,000 Satoshis is important. If we want to assume a long position, that could also be the entry for a long position beyond this weekly open. And regardless of what the Ethereum to US dollar price is, whenever we see the test of this, I think that would be the time to get in. And so we want to monitor that 65,000 Satoshi level. If we stay above that, it's extremely bullish and 85,000 Satoshis comes into the equation. And so in percentage terms, we're looking at about another 17% push to the upside for the Ethereum price, which is based on the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart and that has the direct effect to the Ethereum to US dollar chart. So we know Ethereum is extremely bullish. It's doing very well for those tuned in the Cypress channel. I've been talking about that. And then when we look at the total cryptocurrency market cap chart, extremely important chart here, I do want to address a couple puzzle pieces on the table. We are below the weekly open right now, and we are starting to breach this channel resistance that is also a support level. And so we need to monitor the total cryptocurrency market cap chart because we want to get above the weekly open at $2.4 trillion in total cryptocurrency market cap, where we're currently sitting just below that at 2.35 trillion. And then of course, if we start to see a push down, which we'll talk about turnaround Tuesday and how that could play out tomorrow, but that $2.259 trillion level is also an extremely important level, a previous high. And so we want to maintain that. But more importantly, we want to always stay above this $2.16 trillion level, which is the monthly open and previous weekly open to assume bullish continuation for the total cryptocurrency market cap chart. So as long as we're above this monthly open, which is also where we have the previous weekly open, I think that's very positive. And so with others dominance, there are some interesting things happening here. We're coming back down to test this 50 period moving average. We do want to put that on the table. We're also below the weekly and monthly open. And so just keep this in mind. This chart does factor in Ethereum. Don't be surprised if we see a lot of sideways price action as we head into turnaround Tuesday and we see the rest of the week unfold with traditional markets right now. So Notice how Bitcoin dominance also showing weakness, forming new lows today at 44.85% dominance. And then let's look at what's happening to traditional markets, because this obviously has a huge effect on the cryptocurrency market. The DXY showing a lot of weakness. It's yet to come to this 20 week moving average. And because of this, we're seeing traditional markets affected. The S&P 500 right now is potentially coming back towards this previous weekly open at 41.81. But the print's still extremely bullish when we look at how far away we are from this 50 period moving average. And we all know how the S&P 500 affected the Bitcoin price in March 2020. And so if we stay above 41.8 or 41.80 for the S&P 500 e-mini futures contract, I think that could be a, another puzzle piece that could assume that Bitcoin's going to see continued strength. But if we break below this, we want to monitor the S&P 500 because this 50 day moving average can potentially come back into the equation. We are forming sort of a bearish flag here. And if we were to maybe look at some divergences on the daily chart, you can see we're also forming bearish divergence here. So we just want to monitor that for the S&P 500 that could have an effect tomorrow during turnaround Tuesday. And so if Bitcoin crosses that fifty six thousand five hundred dollar previous weekly open, forty nine thousand comes back into the equation and Ethereum is already far and surpassed Bitcoin's price over the last few days. And so if we see downside with Ethereum, it's not that big of a deal. You guys know the long entries there at the weekly open in the major 65,000 Satoshi level. And so we look at gold just to finalize this video. Notice how we're coming up to this 200 day moving average on the weekly chart. We're testing this 50 week moving average. It looks like gold wants to move further. And remember, an indicator of 
the 2017 cryptocurrency market top in 2017 was this gold to Bitcoin chart. When we came down below this 50 day moving average and then came below the 100 day moving average, we saw the start of a downward channel. We want to monitor this chart right now because the gold against Bitcoin price is still having a cup of coffee, a macchiato, a cappuccino, whatever you want to call it at that 50 period moving average right now. And so we all know that at some point or another, it's going to assume a direction. And so we want to continue monitoring this because if we start to fall below towards this 100 period moving average, that could be a warning sign when it comes to the Bitcoin price, at least. And this is an extremely important chart. Looking at Bitcoin against a hard asset is never a bad thing, right? Why are we all so ecstatic and excited about Bitcoin? Because it's digital gold. Well, look at digital gold against real gold. That's a very good indicator of price. And with that, I appreciate each and every one of you snipers watching our videos. I sent out a ton of books yesterday. And for those that are international, it's harder for us to get books to you guys. So just keep that in mind. But I do want to give away one of my favorite books on value investing principles by Ray Dalio hardcover version. If you want to win this book, comment a thought provoking question in the comments below and share this video to your friends and family. Let them know how excited you are about the cryptocurrency market and you'll have a chance to win. I'll pick two winners from our video yesterday because I know we didn't get to do that. Angela Collins says, I've been watching since your lacrosse days. LOL, always appreciate the daily updates. You want a book, send me a message on Instagram. The link is in the description below and we'll pick a older comment, maybe one right in the middle and then go from there. Let's see. First sniper of the day, snipers out, responsible. Send me a message on Instagram. You want a book. And with that, thank you all for tuning into the Snipers channel today. Until next time, Snipers out.